The Rebels had dominated in every facet of the game to start the series. But the Gators' best bite awaited them in game three. Will Dalton hammers it down the third baseline, a base hit for him. Florida will score at least one more run. Now they're going to really press it and try. Here comes the throw, going to have a play at the plate. Offline, Gators get a two-run double out of Will Dalton and lead 8-0. The weird part about the weekend, and I think it's a product of how well we swung the bats the first two games, is I never felt a ton of panic. You just got to stay calm, you know, stay within yourself, and you can't get all the runs back at once. Just get guys on base, create havoc on the bases, and just continue to pass the bat to the next guy, and things will work out in our favor. I'm Z, I'm Z. Zabowski hits a bomb to right field. Forget about that one. But as soon as Zebo hit that home run, that two-run shot over the right field wall, uh, it, the game was over right then. <laughs> this ball, base hit, left side. Kessinger with another hit. Well, now you got Keenan, you got Dillard, and you got Zabowski. You know, runners on first and second right now. If any one of those three get a hold of one, you got a ball game then. And look out here. And now we're going to take a break. But it's as simple as lightning within a what, eight-mile radius of the stadium. I, I just remember when they cleared the field for the rain delay, um, you know, Zebo had hit the two-run home run the inning before, and then the first two guys are on base uh, before the rain delay hits, and I just ran into the dugout feeling really good about what was, what was happening. I think the big difference is, is knowing that we had momentum going, uh, even though we were down by a lot. Um, we had some momentum going, and the important thing is keeping that momentum coming out of the rain delay. After a 61-minute weather delay, we are set to restart baseball at Swayze Field in Oxford, Mississippi. Now Nolan Crisp coming in out of the bullpen, 12th appearance of the year. He's 2-0 with a 2.57 ERA. Coming out for that bat, I was planning to swing on 3-1, but he threw me a ball and I walked. And on a 3-1 pitch, that's where we were when we went into the lightning delay. A walk to Tyler Keenan, and so Ole Miss has the bases loaded with nobody out. We knew we were down, and we we're going to come back regardless. I mean, we're a good offense, and we're going to fight to the end, so it doesn't matter if we're up eight or down eight, we're going to fight. 0-2 down the third baseline. That's a fair ball. Keenan comes around to score. Dillard's being waved around. Zabowski will slam on the brakes at third. A two-run double for Knox LaPosser. And this is a one-run game, a game that Florida led 8-0 in. Yeah! 2-2 Two -two from Servideo, lined into the right center field gap. That'll be extra bases for Anthony Servideo. Hits the bag at second, going to try and turn it into a triple. He will do so with a head-first slide. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Same thing as before? Like yeah, but, but, yeah, but you know, it's a short lead, so you can't get picked and no line drive, can't get doubled off, right? Because you're not going to go, right, yeah. unless it's a fly ball. Tied so just a tiny safer. lead, don't start. I got a tiny yeah, lead and start to walk, right? Got short you. lead, got so you don't want the guy to dive over the bag to catch and double you off. Yes, sir. Hits this one in the air to left. Langworthy on the run, and it's over his head. Olenek. Able to turn on the burners and go, cruise go, into go. second with a stand-up double. Nice job, man. In a game where no lead seems safe. The Rebels needed to hit closing time a little early. Go attack him right here, second and third, one out. Let's go, go right at him. Come on. Let's go, man. Now Parker Caracy in to try and 
settle things down, making his ninth appearance of the year. At that point, you know, we had to go to Caracci, regardless if he could finish the game or not, and probably, you know, uh, felt that he probably wasn't going to finish the game uh, because it would you know, be th over three innings. But we needed somebody to put some zeros up, and, you know, he's our best guy to do that. Come on, Park, right here. Let's go. That's what makes Parker Gracie so special. You know about the fastball, but he can bend it too. And watch the location of that spinner. I mean, just off the outside corner. It looks like a fastball the whole way. You go to get it, and it just disappears. Oh, to the first, and this time a pick off at first base. Oh, just paints the inside corner, 92. And again, the velo start to come back a little bit. One, two. Keenan has to wait back on it. He has to hurry. Makes the throw, and Ole Miss completes the sweep. 57 pitches, three and two thirds innings. Seventh save of the year for Parker Gracie, and Ole Miss moves to eight and four in the SEC. We are. Let's go. We haven't asked him to do it all year, uh, but three plus innings of uh, you know save work by Mr. Gracie. We're on.